uh, CSG Free Northern Rivers. There's a collective of hopefully thousands of people out there. And what we're about to do is um, to undertake a non-violent action to protest against CSG in our region. Are we going for a march? The whole infrastructural nightmare is coming to the Northern Rivers and it's a people's movement that's going to stop it. This is something that is so important to all of our community and to see everyone coming together. We're blessed with great weather, but even without this great weather, hail, rain or shine, we would have seen this big crowd here because this is so important. What we're hoping to achieve is to demonstrate to the community and demonstrate to the politicians and demonstrate to the media and demonstrate to the regulators and lawmakers and investors that CSG is not welcome in the Northern Rivers. It's not welcome because CSG can lead to the deflation of water tables, can lead to toxins bleaching into water tables, can lead to the degradation of land values, can lead to the poisoning of beef and croplands. The Gasfield Cafe is this whole CSG industry. The what's on the menu is what we're served by CSG as an industry on the community and the environment. It's just my way of explaining it. We've seen blockades in uh, Gloucester, blockades in the Gunnedah Basin, and this community is ready for blockading. I know there's a lot of direct action training. Uh, the people are ready for it. Farmers are blockading for the first time, and that's really exciting. They enjoy being part of the community, out there making decisions for their community. This industry doesn't take a gas well there and a gas well up there. It takes all of your country, every last bit of it. We're being um, smoked out, like in the Westerns, they're doing to us what they've done historically, you know, in the Westerns, literally, that's what it's like out there, it's like cowboy country and unfortunately it's invoking cowboy responses to me. I believe in that non-violent civil disobedience will save the Northern Rivers, but I don't believe anything will save us now. We're finished. Someone was actually standing up on the bank, counting as the marches went past. So I think 7,000 sounds reasonable to me. It went right through the CBD. When I was in Keene Street, the march was right back along Woodlark Street and to the next parallel street, Molesworth Street. There were still people marching. So over more than a, a block and a half in length, uh, that was, and people were tightly marching together. So an enormous number. All ages, elderly people right down to children on their parents' shoulders. Wonderful. Ah, look, coal seam gas is huge. Let's not forget there's a lot of coal mining expansions as well. I know that's not as big a factor up here. The amount of gas and coal expansion in Australia is globally significant. The expansion here will be fueling power stations in Japan, in, in Korea, and in India, where they don't even want our coal. People over there are campaigning for clean air and clean energy. They don't like the coals being sucked out of the ground in Australia and being sent to India. They want a renewable energy future too. We've got to show some leadership in Australia when it comes to uh, our energy future and the energy future for the world. We can't be the quarry for the globe any longer. Thank you.